in the words of great writer Napoleon Hill, whatever the mind of a man can conceive and believe, it can achieve. It is the same ideal that we have gathered here to honor today at IIM Bangalore as we continue to strive to illuminate our minds with light of wisdom and change. A very good evening to one and all present here. On behalf of Team Vista and IIM Bangalore, it is my great pleasure to welcome you all to this edition of Vista, the annual international business summit of IIM Bangalore. The way we do business is evolving at a blinding pace today with the advent of increasing innovation and rapid changes in economic paradigms. Although our lives continue to revolve around the quest for success, mere personal achievements are no longer the barometer to measure the same. We are now placing an increasing emphasis on the need to make a difference in the world and to contribute meaningfully towards social and national advancement. And that is no easy task. It is only the inspiration we kindle within us that allows us to aspire to lofty goals and pushes us to achieve them as well. At IIM Bangalore, we believe that the world of tomorrow will need inspired leaders rather than just efficient ones. Leaders who are ready to make personal sacrifices to bring about a positive transformation across the economic and social landscape. It is with the same belief that Vista is proud to embrace the theme of inspire, aspire and achieve this year and we hope we can all emulate and live up to it through our thoughts and actions at Vista 2013. Once again, welcome to Vista and I am Bangalore. I'll come to the questions and answers. So it will make my subject easier for me to broach. The questions now. Did you learn from your movies that did not fare well despite the excellent quality? Uh, there's so many. Um, the uh, product becomes an independent problem, an independent achievement. So uh, when you ask me the financial implications of it, so many things. We thought the smaller movies were the way to go wrong. We thought the bigger movies were the right path wrong. But that's not the rule. There's always technology coming in to break away. We thought bigger theaters, smaller theaters, no theaters, all are right, all are wrong. So when we were crying for more theaters to be built, that's a right cry, that's a right, right clarion call. But that doesn't satisfy the customer need, that doesn't uh, sort of meet the, the supply, does not meet the demand when you build enough theaters because the technology has taken it even further. So the profit and loss situation is always spend little, earn more, the basics. Especially here, there's an invisible uh, uh, product called talent where you can't put a price on. Once it succeeds, there's a price put on it and it keeps increasing exponentially when the ta talent continuously succeeds. We are examples. The stars are a great example that we start. My, I started with 2,500 rupees for my second film. First film was 500 rupees as a, I was a teenager. And now, fortunately, I can disclose my income. It is 100,000 times more because I pay my taxes. If you ask me about social service, I consider that one because I can loudly complain about uh, a pothole in the road, corruption in politics, corruption in any management because I am not in compliance with that corruption. That's the only authority that you can have to talk against it for which you'll have to really take your side and keep the lines clearly drawn. And coming back to your question, you can't actually uh, encapsulate it in a small answer. You'll have to be more specific on what financials you're talking about. Let me tell you what is lacking in the industry is People are still not willing to take a completion guarantee, insure their project. 
So there's no insurance, there's no safety, there's no exit loss. So the entry of the banks and all are not happening as it should because they are being, they're treading carefully because it's not terra firma according to them. So these are the things. You'll have to create finance. You'll have to invent certain new methodologies to bring in finance into the industry. That's where I need guys like you because you'll have to convince the investor um, into uh, coming into equity, lending money, or you'll have to put the numbers, crunch the numbers, hold and see, have a dry run and see that it happens when it is actually, have a parallel study of what happened to your plans and what went wrong. I always say that Murphy is a partner in my company. I'm the sleeping partner. He's always awake. When you hear about black water, you know where it came from. It came from those stories. And when you say about, talk about disappointment, it probably comes from, I'm sorry to psychoanalyze as psychologists, but it could be. <laughs> I might be wrong. I'm, I'm, I'm happy to be wrong, corrected, because that I consider to be part of my learning process. But I think that could have been from you expecting happy endings all the time. And so I think you didn't get it because I think her, uh, um, in some ways Arnold Schwarzenegger refined what Buddha said and brought it to bodybuilding uh, lingo. No pain, no gain. And uh, pain is the only reminder that you're alive and still kicking and not at the bucket. And so I would say that the first hurdle you'll have to overcome is your disappointment because that's what I learned. I don't know whether that's the right prescription or the, di <laughs> or the right diagnosis, but I think the first thing I overcame was my disappointment. So I think all other hurdles will be easy after that. Thank you, ma'am. Honored to meet you. As a marketing student, I should ask you this question. So uh, could you please share with us the reason and logic behind your attempt at uh, releasing Vishwarubam in DTH? Because we all know that uh, cinema yeah. has, a has a very complex web of networks where uh, the stakeholders and dependents are many. You know what that means to future and tomorrow. That's where disappointment comes from. They, are, they have vested in a obsolete uh, invested in an obsolete equipment and is sticking on to it and impeding progress. I don't call them villains, I just call them ill-informed about the future and they're trying to cover it up, cover up their mistakes or unwilling to accept and move forward. That's why society waits. I think the advent of s digital cinema waited at least for two decades because those with vested interests delayed it as long as they can. I think the same would apply for cure for diabetes. When it comes closer and closer to home, you'll understand what I mean by it. I, have, I hate to make enemies. And I hate to make friends with people without ideologies. But that doesn't mean I insist on drawing the lines and making them my enemy, but the cap fits them. They wear it. And it's not my purpose to tap that cap out of the, <laughs> off their head. It's not a crown. It's a cap they fancied. Now about DTH, let me come to you. Constantly you hear this... Uh, a, a grievance from the film industry that the video pirates are taking it away. They name names, they call Mr. Dawood Ibrahim, and if you ask him, he'll say, I'm an entrepreneur who's extramural. I'm not, 
I'm, I didn't study in IIM, but I have my own rules. So, are we doing the right thing? Is only policing the only way? Is danda the only way? Is samadana bed? We have not tried all that. We've straight away gone to the least productive uh, defense. And uh, so, I think the problem that ails this industry, why the pirates thrive, is because we have not met the demands. We are only talking about short supply. We are not trying to improve. Once again, I was telling you technology is not an impediment, but it's, it's an additional tool. And uh, that's what I was trying to do. Can I ask you an embarrassing question, all of you? Okay. You don't have to be honest, because I know the answer. <laughs> How many of you have watched movies on torrent? There are socially conscious persons who didn't lift their hands. I understand. <laughs> the rest of you are honest. I, I blame it on your age. So, why are you watching it on torrent? Not because you hate cinema, but you love cinema. And we have not made any attempt to reach that cinema to you. You would have paid to see a better quality if you don't have to wait for that irritating buffering time. Isn't it? I should have put up my hand along with you, but I saw it, I saw it only to see what ails me. That's not my habit. Fortunately, my friends will show me their films if I ask them, or if I go to a film festival where I'm often invented, invited. So, that was the reason, ma'am, that I went to DTH. Like your grandfather, or grandmother, if they are in good health and outgoing, <laughs> then probably not them. But if they are not, then these people are my yesterday's fans, and I'm not catering to them. I've forgotten all about them. Pregnant women, children, busy housewives, busier entrepreneurs, they never come to theaters. So my idea was to reach it to them. Let me tell you a strange kind of anomaly in my film industry. You must have heard people bandying about numbers like 100 crores is a thing, and they celebrate it. And people are trying to get into that 100 crore club. I think... Uh, it's, it's like saying, who has the dirtiest genes? Yeah, it's, it's, a, it's a good way to go, but there are three-piece suits awaiting us also. And uh, let me tell you, look at, calculate. There are some guys who are good at it here, I'm very sure. I'm not. So, <laughs> so this is a country of a billion, and cinema tickets are... 100 rupees, almost unanimously in every state, almost, legally, sometimes, illegally, sometimes, but that's the amount, 100 rupees per ticket. So how long does it take to make a film 100 crore hit, grosser? One crore people. If only 1% of the people of India are watching films, why is it such a su successful medium? Why is everybody talking about it? We should have shut down the industry by now for all the money we spend. The, uh, what you hear is tip of the iceberg. That's why I invite you all to come into this magnificent industry. 
a good film will make a billion rupees if we show more transparency and show less avarice in each department. That's why I tried DTH. That's not the total cure. It's not a remedy. It's a pain relief. Uh, what's your thought on the current and the future state of Indian cinema? And where do we stand when we compare it with the international uh, film scenario? And uh, especially, uh, is the craze behind the Oscars justified? You, sir, produce a product in India. Is an American standard tapa useful to you? Or ISI? That is my answer. People think that I am talking of Oscars like sore grapes and say that, yeah, he didn't get it, so he's making fun of Oscars. I will love to get it when I do an American film. I'll deserve it more. I don't want to win an Oscar. I know what it means. We are a country who says Atiti Devo Bhava. There's a bit of hyperbole there <laughs> when you get an Oscar as a guest in America. It is an American standard. I respect that standard. But it doesn't mean anything. It shouldn't mean anything to India. Miss America shouldn't mean anything to Miss India. If you ask me, Miss India means nothing to me because I think my mother is the most beautiful woman. I, most sons feel that their mother is uncrowned queen of the beauty world. I know I'm, I'm, I'm sort of ribbing two institutions at the same time. But <laughs> that's the way cookie crumbles. <laughs> Sir? Yes, and as far as, sorry, I'm, 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 I'm a bit slow. Yeah. I'm a high school rapper. <laughs> so. so when you're talking about the state of Indian art, We should cease to be imitators, and it's easy to imitate because it's the best possible thing to do. If you look at Shatrapati Shivaji Saab's costume, it's like a Mughal emperor. If you look at Gandhiji's and Nehru's early day costumes, it looks like a Britisher. You imitate your enemy, and that's what. India is doing, but what is the strength is to become, the more ethnic you become, the more international you, you become. So I think an answer to uh, Rohit Shetty Saab and various other successful filmmakers is that they are also part of the industry, but they are not the industry, the industry. So that is a balance we'll have to strike. And what ails the industry is the industry has not invested back into the industry. They've taken money and run. It's like oil wells. Nobody pours any oil back into it. <laughs> not even do they dump dead dinosaurs to make future oil. <laughs> of all fans of your comedy genre, uh, we believe that uh, no one can deliver Crazy Mohan's dialogue better than you. So when do we get to see you and him back in a partnership? No, we... <laughs> see, uh, like, I'd like to copy a line from uh, Mr. Balachandar, who incidentally is also a great uh, humor writer. For uh, Crazy and me, he is one of the inspirations. The thing is, he's the writer, humor writer that I want to be, and I'm the actor that he wants to be. 
So we are a great team. We, in our uh, collaboration, we don't even check or have a checklist of who said what or whose pun, pun, uh, puns or punches caught more of an applause. It, it, he's a very serious man if you talk to him in private. But uh, uh, comedy is serious business and uh, people with angry things to say, say it cleverly without agitating through humor. So that's what we do and if it would give you any pleasure, the next film that I'm doing will be in collaboration with uh, Crazy Mohan. <laughs> Another friend of mine uh, uh, who lives in Bangalore, Ramesh Aravind, will be directing it. I'll be writing the script and uh, hopefully if Mr. K. Balachandra agrees, he'll be acting in the film. <laughs> And tentatively, it is called Uttama Villan Yengira Bitter Chocolate. Uh, sir, I have Asan as the director. So in the current industry, if you see there are a lot of short film makers, competition winners who are making it big in the industry. Uh, do you think this is going to change the face of uh, the direction field itself? Because a lot of youngsters are getting chance. So the number two, if you want both together. Uh, I'm a very, very uh, big diehard fan of uh, Rajnikanth and a maniac fan of Kamal. So is there any way I can see both of them together before I... We, the reason why we stopped acting together was that they were splitting one remuneration, one biscuit was broken into two and was handed over to us. And we realized that we had individual potentials and we were sharing the loot. <laughs> there were other banks to break. <laughs> so that's when we decided that we should split. That's the same reason that's stopping us from uniting together. Because right now, both of us take half of what it costs to make our films. It's all thanks to this kind of applause that we have reached that. <laughs> and uh, what was the other question? Sorry. Two. Directors. Directors. Yes. Uh, it's like someone saying, I'm very good in short distance driving. <laughs> Many short filmmakers have been great filmmakers. But feature length film is it's a difference between sprinting and marathon, two different kind of sports. Fact that we don't respect short films wants most short filmmakers to graduate to what they think is a better position, feature filmmaking. But I think short films can be more socially relevant, conscious, and respectable if if they understand the medium fully. Some of the greatest films are only 30 seconds long. They are ad filmmakers. They're brilliant, but many, except Ridley Scott and a few others, have failed when they came to make feature films. I'm not discouraging them, because it's a welcome change in Tamil cinema. But are they trained? My question is that. It's only in cinema that a compounder can become a doctor. After years of experience. That's wrong. That will lead to disease. <laughs> or at least wrong diagnosis and bad prescriptions. Always the one to come. <laughs> and 
the other list you tell me what's your favorite film of mine or is just or is it just a question no uh, i watched appu raja so okay i liked it a lot okay okay there have been films which everyone liked and applauded for two reasons one they didn't vanish with awards without any collection two they did win critical acclaim like pushpa sagar sangamam uh, uh many of mr balchandra's films so i also echo your thought but there are films that have failed which are my favorites no i'm not playing a mother who is more kinder to a bad son or a stricken son so i'm not doing that they are truly films and the reason for some of the films succeeding is not one but myriad uh, it could be marketing bad marketing bad trust bad combination simply bad photography bad acting anything could make a good film go wrong a good idea go wrong so there have been many like that unsung films and what i am trying to do is remake them in another garb it has worked again i'm not going to tell you which because you'll nitpick and <laughs> sir this theme of vista inspire aspire and achieve what it still continues to inspire achieve and inspire aspire you what keeps you going on you know to doing uh, in the pursuit of what is it that something you continue to a, a better film inspires me a better film than mine preferably just a better film than another doesn't actually goad me in, to aspire to make it a better film than mine inspires instigates makes me angry and make myself uh, look into my intellectual mirror and uh, weigh myself i think i think the pressure has to come from the peers healthy pressure from the peers Where the other two will follow suit and the other two will automatically happen because i have aspired or been inspired by that thank you good evening sir i'm bidisha i want to ask you about your take on t uh, today's movie where most of the movie is uh, mainly focused on uh, your uh, technical aspect rather than acting so we don't see much of the artist portray on the movie so what is your respect see good acting i mean with due respect to parsi theater <laughs> good acting is something where you see what happened he didn't act so if you see <laughs> if you see kevin spacey he looks like it looks like the man is still it's only now you understand brando's performance because he is doing nothing while we were doing kathakali he was into movie acting i'm not making fun of it kathakali is not difficult not every man can do it but we were into that natanki style of performance kabuki kind of thing you can see that in old kurosawa films the concept is great but the actors are guttural in tone and you know that's a false falsetto voice or a false guttural tone that they are taking and the stance is very no theater like but acting is also a technique and uh, makeup is a technique cinematography is a technique the fusion and almost total uh, invisibility of all these arts if one surfaces and you call this a technical film i think you've started watching the corner of the screen rather than the center so i think if you say that technique is overpowering the thing and you're not able to enjoy the film then there is a little flaw but in our business when the till rings everything is right <laughs> even if sold ticket everything is right one request to you can you say one dialogue of that from that movie 
when i think of kamala hasan i think of two things one is movies and another is language tamil so um lately i have been seeing from around me and from social media sites where uh, it is portrayed that tamil is being forgotten by tamilians themselves so what is your take on this do you believe this and if so what, tamil is being forwarded yes tamil is being slowly forgotten 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 yes so do you believe this and if this is a trend how do you propose we change this no it was not uh, personally directed at you it directed at me also because i for i love tamil so much i should have had an interpreter and spoken in tamil i could have done better <laughs> this is not my language we are all anglophiles by enslavement but it has helped us educate so it's a good trade off so i enjoy that kind of slavery <laughs> but apart from that there are certain things that malayalam will die a little slower than tamil the reason is in malayalam if you say nanni they won't look at you in a funny way but if you say nandri in tamil you are either a politician a tamil teacher or a nut so that's the state of the language now nobody says i love you in tamil have you <laughs> i tried my, on my first date it was a disaster <laughs> and so i never uh expressed my love in tamil ever after that it's always i love you it sounds grander somehow <laughs> but that's what is ailing us and that's why tamil ini mella cha anal miga mella kandipa actor all time favorite actor from the hindi film industry actor and as well as actor so that it doesn't look like lip service i will show you who's my favorite actor he is my favorite actor you can see it first of all people can see it that's mr mohammad yusuf khan alias dilip kumar sahab and i am grateful to one actor who interpreted who became the primer for me to understand mr dilip kumar and brando mr shivaji ganesan <laughs> he was the only son i saw in my horizon when i woke up to cinema and it is through that light that i have now come become his fan i have to graduate too like you and i'm ever grateful i have not forgotten my roots and uh, i'll tell you why because even today mr yusuf khan makes me think whether he is he was 40 years before me or just two that's that's that, that's frightening i have told him that and some uh, when somebody said they thought he is old so people assume that older people are deaf so people always shout to mr dilip kumar <laughs> which he doesn't like <laughs> it's it's something i found and uh, everybody tries to say you know mr kamal hasan is saying that all actors of even today and he was munching a sandwich and then he was looking away and they further thought he is not hearing they went became louder he wanted to avoid that <laughs> subject because he didn't want to say anything amiss because i could see from his face what he thought of today's acting 
and uh, he turned his face away and they kept insisting that today's actors imitate you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. but why? He said. <laughs> because I could see from his face what he thought of today's acting. <laughs> and uh, he turned his face away and they kept insisting that today's actors imitate you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. but why? He said. <laughs> that was his answer. <laughs> a brilliant man, brilliant actor, erudite and educated, not only in cinema, but even in, uh, uh, he's a scholar. He is uh, a very important man. He did what we are trying to do today, 40 years back. Go see Mogalyasan and her complaint about technology and no acting will be evident even there. <laughs> Like, uh, I really want to know about the status of Maridha Naigam. And one more question I have. Like, yeah, because that's a very short answer. <laughs> <laughs> three years back, I saw you in Jakuba, uh, I think Jakuba, yeah. Jakuba, movie, uh, press meet something, okay. That time, you are still the same. Like, I thought when I heard uh, in IM, IAMB, you are coming, I thought you will be little old. But you are still giving a competition to us. What is the reason? <laughs> No, uh, I wouldn't like to belie your expectation, but you misplaced this. I am old and little. <laughs> so, <laughs> that, that happens. I, I first should say thank you. Uh, I think it's the lighting. <laughs> I, I should thank the lighting also. <laughs> I think we believe in good lighting, and uh, this probably is a well-lit hall. And also, I keep myself happy if you want to know the secret of this maintenance uh, it <laughs> but I hope you enjoyed this uh, uh, conversation this intercourse I enjoyed it I I've, I'm taking back knowledge without these questions I wouldn't have thought of these answers so even without me asking questions, I've got answers. Now I'll go seek questions. Thank you. <laughs>